Hey guys, these are timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button, like, share, subscribe, you guys. So I'm going to pull from the meditation messages first. I'm getting sex is not everything. Okay, I just, I don't know where that's coming from, but sex is not everything. Okay, so maybe somebody needs to hear that. Harsh lesson. Hmm. So that may be a harsh lesson for somebody to learn that sex is not everything. Okay. High standards here. Maybe somebody met somebody who has high standards or somebody's standards are heightening here. The number seven could be very significant. The letter Y could be very significant. Okay. So yeah, I'm strongly getting like somebody is really not realizing that sex is important, but it's not really, it's, it's not everything. So if, if this is pertaining to like a relationship or friends or benefits type of energy, somebody is might, they may be having getting a harsh lesson that it's not really um, the key to success in some type of relationship, okay? Virgo in the ninth house, okay? Somebody has Virgo in the ninth house, okay? Aquarius in the fourth house here. So a Virgo or Aquarius is involved here. Aries in the first house. Gemini in the seventh house, okay? Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo could be very significant here, okay? These are the predominant signs here, okay? Uh, 19 days could be very significant here. So in 19 days, somebody is going to be learning some type of harsh lesson here, okay? And I'm strongly getting that it pertains to like a a relationship or a connection that they are in or someone is in they're realizing that is more to a connection than just sex or somebody is learning this about you here okay um whoever this is i feel like somebody has really i don't think their expectations are high i don't think they have unrealistic expectations but i feel like this is somebody who is at a higher stature mentally and emotionally here okay somebody is realizing that they have to treat somebody with respect because this is somebody who is a high higher caliber okay this could be you okay somebody may be realizing that maybe they came 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 to you or came up to you or they approached a connection through sex or they may have thought that you were somebody who really was all about sex but i feel like somebody is real is starting to get to know you and realize who you are here okay in prison reverse here so somebody could be dealing with a karmic okay that um could be could actually be coming off as a prostitute or somebody who is very insecure so they probably like they feel like they don't have nothing to offer but sex or this is probably somebody who really don't have nothing off uh, nothing to offer but sex Okay, this could be somebody who's very insecure. They have a lack of confidence in herself. Could be a baby mama energy here that feels like I'm strongly getting like somebody didn't get past the stage of a loving, nurturing type of relationship or connection. So all they do is have sex with somebody. Okay, um, Libra Taurus energy here. Yeah, and that that really kind of like ruined a connection or somebody just. Somebody, I'm strongly getting like somebody basically got dis disgusted by this karmic energy here. They may be in a relationship with this person or you may be in a relationship with this person. You realize it's not going anywhere. This is not somebody who you want to settle down with. This is somebody who you don't see progress with. You don't see no type of connection or you don't see no type of success with this person. You have some type of connection with this person and it's probably through sex. Like the shit is just not adding up with this person here. You're very indecisive about who this person is here, okay? I feel like you're looking at this person as somebody who they don't have no type of growth or you don't see no growth with this person here. Um, I'm strongly getting like you may be putting this on hold here. You may have been dealing with this person. You probably wasn't using your common sense or you may feel like you have not been using your common sense because... You may have been gambling and having fun with this person, but you realize how materialistic and superficial and how overly sexualized somebody is here, okay? Um, 
you may you may feel like this is somebody who's really irresponsible. Um, they can't take care of their self, okay? So I'm strongly getting you in this energy of like, you may be waiting. You, you're waiting for your ships to come in here. Yeah, I feel like you, this is a sense of somebody who is just probably dealing with other people here because they're not satisfied where they're at, okay? They want a fresh start. They're, they're dis- they're discontent with a karmic energy here. They're over it with this person here. This is somebody who learned some type of lesson here. And it has a lot to do with um, sex. And it has a lot to do with them not having no feelings for somebody. And it's just only about sex here. Okay. Hermit. Six of Cups in reverse. Death card. Four of Cups. Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords. Six of Swords and a Moon in reverse here. Somebody is realizing that somebody is really delusional and they are really trying to get out of Dodge. Somebody wants to sell off. Somebody don't want to be with somebody anymore. Somebody wants to move on. It's like this energy is somebody feeling like they have to escape from somebody here. Somebody sees the truth about somebody who they are dating here, okay? This is what they're seeing here. And it's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. You don't look at this person in a great light. You have a negative, you have negative emotions about this person. You don't, you don't want nothing to do with this person here. Because this is an energy where somebody is just like letting go, period, here. They're refusing to offer here. This may have been something that you may have been contemplating about for a while, Okay, um, you may have been stagnant with this person for a while, but I feel like you pretty much fed up. It's something, it's something that you've been waiting for this person to do or something, or you've just been waiting to make a decision about this person. But something that this person has done either in the 19 days or 19 days from now, something that this person has done has turned you way the fuck off here. And you may be realizing that you really need to set boundaries with this person. This is a turn off energy. You're disgusted. This person may be creating some type of chaos with you here. And you fed up with all this bullshit. You fed up with all of it. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Virgo energy here strongly. Um, Libra energy here. I feel like this is somebody who... They live in illusions here. Okay? And I, I'm getting this energy where you may have caught up on that. I feel like this is somebody who stresses you out or they, they're a burden to you here. And you, you may have been thinking about this for some time to let this person go. You may have known this person for uh, some time here. You may have known them since childhood. But this is somebody who's still stuck in a, a childish mindset. I just did a reading not too long ago about a masculine energy, basically. It don't have to be... A masculine somebody's in their masculine energy and i feel like right now i feel like somebody basically outgrew somebody or somebody had an awakening now somebody could have been in some type of illusion with this person it could have been under some type of magic with this person the magic has worn off this shit ain't working and the reason why it's probably if it is magic involved the reason why the magic is not involved here because somebody got some type of knowledge or wisdom or their intuition is heightened here, okay? It's time for somebody to go here. Judgment in reverse, sun in reverse, lovers in the eight of cups. I mean, it's really as simple as that here. Judgment in reverse, I feel like you may be still in an indecision about this person, but the shit is just not adding up with this person here. Um, you may be dealing with somebody who had some unrealistic expectations um, that you guys are actually going to be moving forward in some type of connection here. But it's really just about sex. Okay. This may have been somebody who may have gotten pregnant or they said they got pregnant. Or maybe they got an abortion or they they, they were not pregnant. Okay. Um, this was just a big karmic lesson for somebody here. Somebody realized that somebody was only with them to get some type of attention or recognition or they were clout chasing. Um somebody was dealing with an opportunist here okay five of swords in reverse and the united pentacles here 
somebody really was genuine with this person they were compromising with this person here um but it really turned out as a major sacrifice for you or somebody else here because i feel like somebody was really genuine with this person here they was really trying to give this person a chance but they realize somebody is just really i'm, I'm strongly in like somebody has not changed they're not going to change they're still irresponsible they still don't have no common sense here this is somebody who don't finish what they start here very materialistic very superficial here they break promises or they make promises that they can't keep here this is somebody who break promises with their self they also probably don't finish tasks okay they start things and just don't finish them here Somebody is walking away and abandoning a situation here. It's it's time for a withdrawal and a connection because it's looking like it's really hopeless. I feel like there, there was nothing gained in this connection here whatsoever here. So I'm strongly getting like somebody is going towards their own journey here. They're ending something with whoever this is and they're going on their own journey is what I'm getting here. This is somebody who's learning how to cut ties with somebody here. And this is a harsh lesson for someone, but it's healthy for the person who's actually walking away here. Okay. Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands in reverse, Devil in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Strength in reverse, and the Six of Swords. Ten of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is deciding to move forward. They're over it. Somebody wants a fresh start. At this point, somebody feel like they survived some type of disaster here. Somebody is giving up on whatever this is. Okay, because it, 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 it was it, it was too much and it was causing too much pain here, it looked like. Yeah, I mean you may have somebody who may be coming back and make you feel regretful for making this decision, but at the end of the day you feel renewed or you feel refreshed. You you feel like these ten of swords is out of your back once you walk away from this situation here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is still trying to hold on to you after you already done stalled communication with this person. I'm getting a very stagnant type of energy here. You're moving forward. And it's not like it's like a secret. It's been exposed here. This is something that's not... It's been exposed here. You may still be in a indecision about this. Like you still may be present in this person's life some way, shape, or form. Or you may be answering text messages or calls here and there. But I mean, the reality of it all is here. The truth is here. And it's something that you have accepted here. Okay. You may be in a decision to... Uh, basically block this person out from communicating from you communicating with you all in all here okay you're in another caliber here and you're looking at i mean not to be rude or anything you may be looking at this person like an aunt to you you've you you've stepped up you grew up or you're on the next level with the shit and i feel like somebody ain't where you at okay Ten of Wands and a Nine of Wands in reverse here. You're not compromising with this person here. This may be an energy where somebody, you was very genuine with this person. You were giving this person a chance here. You were taking your time with this person. You knew this person wasn't the person for you, but you felt like this person was going to change. But this person has taken you for granted, and that shit is burdensome. And this was like a major sacrifice or a major challenge for you. But now I feel like you basically detach you, you, you done with this shit here. I feel like somebody is feeling empowered with their self here. Somebody rather be by their self than dealing with somebody who don't know how to fucking take care of their self. This is too much stress. Somebody wants to free their self. This could be a family situation. You may have fa a family with this person or you have family ties with this person. Or you really thought that she was going to be settling down with this person, but you pretty much done here. You're dealing with somebody who... This is somebody who is scared as shit that you're moving forward here. They may be smothering you. They may be calling you back to back, but they know what type of time it is. They know what time it is. They know that you're moving on. They know that you're getting the fuck out of here. You may be moving or relocating here. You're probably not going to share your address with this person or you shouldn't here. And that's probably a relief itself. 
somebody is moving on from a high priestess in reverse here this is some type of witchery here like i said you could have been under some type of spell work and you probably you it probably has been exposed but you probably really still wanted to give this person a chance because somehow some way you may have really had like a soft spot for this person here this person still they still on the same shit they still immature this is somebody who's still on some dumb ass shit and they're not getting nowhere with doing this shit. This is somebody who's an opportunist or a clout chaser. They're doing this for clout. They're seeking conflict or seeking aggression towards you or other people for clout. And this shit don't even work. People don't even pay attention to this person here. And when they don't get no attention, they get really mad and riled up. Like they do all this rah-rah dumbass shit and you ain't with it. And this is going to cause a tower moment for this person. This person is going to try to crawl right back to you and try to confess. After they tried to fucking play you or they tried to blackmail you or they tried to uh, be malicious towards you and other fucking people here. I feel like this is a, a complete turn off for you. I'm going to get from the wisdom deck. Yeah, in the next 19 days or 19 days could be very significant here. Yeah, I feel like it was complicated for you here because you was pretty much kind of loyal to this person in a sense. But you completely turned off. And you probably wasn't even expecting to be turned off like this. Like, you might have woke up one day and was like, shit, I don't fucking like this person at all. This person disgusts the shit out of me. I feel like I want to throw up. Especially if you woke up next to this person here. This is a big karmic lesson for you. A karmic lesson has been exposed here. You may need some time to... Um, you may need some time to um, basically get over this or get some rest here. But I'm I'm getting this energy where as though you you really at this point you already accept the truth for what it is here. You're in this energy of healing here, and you're moving forward, and you don't hear. You may have other options here, so you're probably not even communicating with this person. This person's scared of shit because they know that you have other options, or they know that you have another option here. You're done with it. I feel like you're going to reserve your energy here, protect yourself, uh, protect your finances as well, because this shit right here is the fuck over. You are completely detached from this person here. You are done. There is no reviving whatever this is. I'm, I'm seeing you not fucking with this person at all. The answer is the fuck no. The signs that I got in this reading strongly is Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo strongly. Okay. Yeah, this is the energy of you moving on from a high priestess in reverse here. This person disappointed the shit out of you here. The whole situation was a failure and this person got the audacity to be in their ego. This person scared shitless. They're still trying to prolong this situation with you. This is somebody who is threatened and scared. But at this point, it don't need to, this person don't even need that type of energy because... There's no need for this person to be threatened and scared because you're you're pretty much mentally and emotionally gone. So what can this person actually do? I mean, with the strength card in reverse, this could be somebody who just really have low self-esteem and they're willing to stay with somebody even though the person don't love them. That's the type of energy that I'm getting here, but I'm strongly getting like you, you're out of this world. You out of this person's world, okay? The letters that I have in this reading strongly is Y, I, R, A, J, S, um, F, O, X, um, H, Q, Z. Focus here. Okay. This person is really focused on you here. This person needs to worry about their self-worth. They need to focus on their self-worth. That's what the main thing they really need to focus on. Okay, I'm strongly getting like you may have gotten to that point in your life here. You may be very content. You understood your self-worth. You know that you were lowering your standards by being with this person. And I feel like you are on a mission to basically 
continue to know your word, build your confidence. And this may be something that this person really needs to focus on herself. Okay. But I love you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless nudity messages. If these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Love you guys. Smooches.